Speaker is the chairman or the presiding officer of the Lok Sabha. The House elects its presiding officer and the deputy speaker by a simple majority of members present who vote in the House. The Constitution states the Speaker must be a member of the House, but an understanding of the Constitution and conventions of the Parliament is considered a major asset for the holder of the office of the Speaker. Election of the Speaker is one of the first acts that a newly elected House undertakes. Usually, a member belonging to the ruling party is elected Speaker. The process has evolved over the years where the ruling party nominates its candidate after informal consultations with leaders of other parties and groups in the House. This convention ensures that once elected, the Speaker enjoys the respect of all sections of the House. Once a decision on the candidate is taken, the name is normally proposed by the Prime Minister or the Minister of Parliamentary Affairs. There are also instances when members not belonging to the ruling party were elected to the office of the Speaker. GMC Balayogi and Manohar Joshi belonging to the TDP and the Shiva Sena respectively served as the Speaker in the 12th and 13th Lok Sabha during the NDA coalition headed by the BJP. Left party leader Somnath Chatterjee was named Speaker during the 14th Lok Sabha headed by Dr. Manmohan Singh who was leading the UPA coalition. When the Lok Sabha is dissolved, the Speaker remains in his office till the first meeting of the new assembly when the new Speaker is elected. Speaker is elected by the House. The Speaker's term is the same as that of the term of the Lok Sabha, five years. However, the Constitution has given the lower House authority to remove the Speaker if needed. The House can remove the Speaker through a resolution passed by an effective majority that means more than 50% of the total strength as per Articles 94 and 96. The Speaker can also be removed on getting disqualified from being a Lok Sabha member under Sections 7 and 8 of the Representation of the People Act 1951. A Speaker can also tender his resignation to the Deputy Speaker. Dr. Neelam Sanjeeva Reddy is the only Speaker who resigned from office. Reddy also has the distinction of being the only Speaker who was later elected President of India. Bureau report, Rajya Sabha TV. Presiding over the meetings of the House. In other words, the Speaker conducts the business in the House by ensuring discipline and decorum among members. He or she guards the rights and privileges of members of the two Houses, deciding who should speak at what time, the questions to be asked, the order of proceedings to be followed, among others. A Speaker uses his or her power to vote in order to resolve a deadlock. That is, when the House initiates a voting procedure, the Speaker doesn't cast a vote in the first instance. It is only when the two sides receive equal number of votes that the Speaker's vote breaks the deadlock, making his or her position impartial. In the absence of a quorum in the House, it is the duty of the Speaker to adjourn the House or to suspend any meeting until quorum is met. The Speaker decides the agenda that must be discussed in a meeting of the members of the Parliament. The Speaker is invested with immense powers of interpreting rules of procedure. That is, since he or she is a member of House as well as the presiding officer, he or she ensures the discipline of the House. The Speaker ensures that MP are punished for unruly behavior. A Speaker can also disqualify a Member of Parliament from the House on grounds of defection. He or she also permits various parliamentary procedures like the motion of adjournment, the motion of no confidence, the motion of censure among others. The Speaker presides over a joint sitting of the two Houses of Parliament. Once a money bill is transmitted from the lower house to the upper house, the Speaker is solely responsible for endorsing his or her certificate on the bill. In other words, he or she is given the pivotal power to decide whether any bill is a money bill. This decision is considered final. The Speaker has under his or her jurisdiction a number of parliamentary committees like the Rules Committee, the Business Advisory Committee and the General Purposes Committee. The Speaker nominates the various chairmen of these committees while looking into the procedural hindrance of the working of these committees. All the committees of parliament. He or she is the ex-officio president of the Indian Parliamentary Group set up in 1949 that functions as the national group of the Inter-Parliamentary Union. 
Union and the main branch of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. In that capacity, members of various Indian parliamentary delegations going abroad are nominated by him or her after consulting the chairman of the Rajya Sabha. Most often, the speaker leads such delegations. Besides, speaker is the chairman of the Conference of Presiding Officers of Legislative Bodies in India. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. In the Lok Sabha Chamber, the speaker's chair is distinctively placed to enable a commanding view of the entire house. The speaker is guided by the constitutional provisions and the rules of procedure and conduct of business in Lok Sabha. The Speaker is assisted by the Secretary General of the Lok Sabha and Senior Officers of the Secretariat on Parliamentary Activities, Practice and Procedure. In the absence of the Speaker, the Deputy Speaker discharges the functions. A member from the panel of Chairman presides over the House in the absence of both the Speaker and the Deputy Speaker. The Speaker has extensive functions to perform in matters, administrative, judicial and regulatory, falling under his or her domain. As the conventional head of the Lok Sabha and as its principal spokesperson, the speaker represents its collective voice. He or she is the ultimate arbiter and interpreter of those provisions which relate to the functioning of the house. His or her decisions are final and binding and ordinarily cannot be questioned, challenged or criticized. There is a constitutional... As the presiding officer, the speaker decides the admissibility of a question. The Speaker decides the form in which amendments may be moved to the motion of thanks to the President's address. With regard to moving amendments to a bill, the permission of the Chair is required. If a bill is pending before the House, the Speaker decides whether he or she should allow amendments to be moved to various clauses of the bill. For regulating discussions in the House, the Speaker decides as to when a member shall speak and how long she or he can speak. It is left to the Speaker to ask a member to discontinue his or her speech or even decide what a particular member said which may not go on record as part of the proceedings. A member who flouts his or her orders or directions may be named by the Speaker and in such cases the member may have to withdraw from the House. See, when the notices are... ...by a member, the question is put by the Speaker before the House to obtain the decision. The Speaker also has certain residuary powers under the rules of procedure. All matters which are not specifically provided under the rules and all questions relating to the working of the rules are regulated by the Speaker. In exercise of this power, the Speaker issues from time to time directions which are generally treated as sacrosanct as the rules of procedure. On matters regarding interpretation of constitutional provisions relating to the House or the rules of procedure, the Speaker often gives rulings which are respected by members and are also binding in nature. The Speaker also decides on granting recognition to the Leader of the Opposition in the Lok Sabha. The Speaker makes obituary references in the House, formal references to important national and international events and the valedictory address at the conclusion of every session of the Lok Sabha and also when the term of the House expires. The Speaker is also the